here we are going to be working on her park it. You can't eat the bed. No, there we go. Okay. Good girl. That's a good girl. Nice. And reward her in place a few times. This is about, mm, I don't know. It's only the second time with a rug. We've been working on lying down and now we're going to work on going to the rug and we're calling it park it. Good girl. Find it. So I throw a treat away to get her to go off of it. Park it. So that she goes back on. Oh, what a good girl. Yes, you're a very good girl. Find it. Park it. Good. Good job. That's a very good job. Park it. Good girl. Look, I want her to stay on the rug until she gets the treat, even though sometimes it takes me a little bit longer than it should to get it out of the bowl here. Kind of line some up so it's a little bit easier. Then I can also throw the treat or I can ask her to do a T-O-U-C-H. Touch. Nice. Good job. Work it. Just to think about it. I'm just going to wait. Yay, good girl. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Good. Good girl. So by waiting there, I gave her the chance to figure it out without telling her what to do. I want her to actually think and to do what she's doing for um, on her own. So she's actually offering the behavior, not just always being told what to do. Touch. Yay, good girl. Yes, good girl. You can see those little wheels turning. Yay, that was such a good girl. Yay, that was a good girl. This is also a step where she's having to go away from me to go to the bed. So that's also a little bit harder. And so this is a challenge. Like I said, it's only the second time she's worked on the bed. I'm going to try to straighten it a little bit. Yay, good girl. That's such a good girl. Nice job. She does a little bit better when I throw it off to the side. Find it. Yay, good girl, good girl. So that's information that's telling me I need to do more work from her going away from me directly rather than laterally. That's a very good girl. Park it. Good job. I'm trying not to say it until she actually has feet on it because it's not a cue that she actually knows at this point. I'm just naming it. Park it. Yay, good job. Park it does not mean lie down. Park it actually means lie down on the bed. Find it. For lying down, we just say D-O-W-N. Park it. Good. That's a very good girl. Okay, I'm gonna try a T-O-U-C-H again. Touch. Yes. Yay! Good girl! Good girl! You notice I didn't use the cue because I knew it wasn't strong enough to draw her to the bed yet. Park it. Good. Yes! Good job! Good! Good girl! That's a very good girl! Good girl. Touch. 
touch. Touch. Yes. Good. Good job. Good job. Okay, so what happened there is I asked her to touch, and she came towards my hand but didn't actually touch it, and she went back to the bed. But I didn't want to reward her going to the bed because she didn't actually do the touch. Well, the reason she didn't do the touch very well is because I didn't reward it the last two times she did it because I wanted to go back to the bed. So it's kind of a fine line there. So I went ahead and rewarded the touch then the third time, and she went back to the bed right away. So we were successful on both of those. Hey, that was such a good girl. I know you are such a good little girl. Yes, you are. You're the good girl. Nice. That was a very good girl. Oh, that was a good girl. So now I'm just going to do some repetitions on the bed because she's been working pretty hard and having to think quite a bit. And I just want to give her some good, solid reinforcement. Good girl. Nice. That was good. Okay, end of session.